get on a soul plane en route to Tokyo. I need us to all band together so that we can get our coins together so that we can head over to Tokyo for these Olympics, okay? Because it's the Black Olympics. I don't care what nobody say. They need to put the black in front of the Olympics and that's just all it's going to be. I'm so excited to be black. I've always enjoyed my blackness, but I'm so excited for all of this black excellence. And it happened on Juneteenth. I'm so excited for this. Make sure to go ahead and like this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And follow your girl on social media at Miss TP90. And uh, yeah, before we get into this video, because I'm very excited to talk about this topic, uh, we're going to have a word from our sponsors. Actually, um, it's just me talking. But uh, yeah, let's go. <sighs> let me let y'all know something. It's hot outside, for one. I'm just gonna let you guys know that it is extremely hot outside COVID it's still running rampant okay so what we need is hydration a mask and sunglasses if that pertains to you okay so I'm gonna let you guys know how I'm staying hydrated during uh, this hotness because this week oh baby it was a lot okay I want to show y'all my coldest water bottle uh-huh it keeps everything insulated for you I mean it keeps your water cold like that's what we need because <laughs> you can go out go to the store, come back in, and your water bottle is already hot. And that's not what we're trying to do. The 21 ounce bottle right up here, uh-huh. You can head over to their website and it's in the more description. Yeah, you can use my code PTV for 10% off of your order. So they have bottles for the little babies, which I thought was so cute. I don't wanna hear the excuses. I don't wanna hear, uh-uh, I don't, I don't think I can do it. Yes, you can, and you have a 10% off code. So go ahead and use that thing, PTV for 10% off. I've never been athletically inclined, even even though you know I love playing basketball but you know I'm vertically challenged you know what I'm saying hopefully future children of mine are athletically inclined because you know it's just some about seeing black excellence whether it's gymnastics um hurdles uh what else basketball uh football uh soccer uh, what else they be doing at the little Olympics? Throwing the things. You know what I'm talking about. But I just got to give it up to Shikari Richardson, okay, for securing her spot in the Olympics, honey. She didn't secure the spot. She dominated the shit, okay, and just did it. Who do you know that be running? They put that ass in slow motion and she was just pointing like, yeah. Like, who does that? But us! What I loved is after she qualified, how she ran all the way to her grandmother. I thought that was so beautiful like uh, it was oh uh, it was just beautiful and to know that she had just lost her mother you never know what people are going through and how they still push through and are so resilient i loved it and i loved hearing her story like just, uh, just inspiring on so many different levels just inspiring to keep doing what you were doing staying on the path to excellence even when there is adversity even when you lose a loved one even when something huge is going on in your life to keep your eye on the prize that takes a lot she's only 21 years old and you know something that made me go is the majority of people what they had to say was talking about her hair her nails and her build first of all i'm so confused as to why people think hair and nails stop you from being great or a great athlete okay and baby girl is running okay hair in the wind do what you want to you do not have to just be in a box okay to play a certain sport or be in a certain profession or to be considered professional i hate that but i'm so glad this generation really don't give a damn and then people were arguing about she isn't the fastest woman in the world maybe she is she's number three i don't give a damn she fast does it matter if she's number one, two, or three? She's going to the Olympics. She's fast. She set a record. She did her thing. Give her her props, okay? I feel like in the world, when we do something fantastic, when it's something for the culture, when it goes on national news, it's like, oh, this is great. Aside from the adversity that she's gone through, just say like, damn, baby girl just hit a record. She's doing great. She's going to the Olympics. No, you got to put all the extra um, okay why is that do we always have to have an extra story on top of the greatness that followed like we don't need to have all that we don't need to have something attached to something else just let us have our moment and then after that you can go ahead and put the stories out but just give the girl her moment she's amazing and people thinking the hair and nails like she just came out of the blue doing this remember flojo 
a gay baby girl would fly in her own right. I was looking at some old photos of her, and I said, girl, you better do it. She was out here, had the nails, and everything. That don't stop shit. Jakari has posted on her Instagram, and I'm gonna read this to y'all. She said, y'all love talking about my hair and nails like the greatest woman to ever enter the game didn't run in style, kaboom. And she also says, I have some tricks up my sleeve when it comes to her hair and to stay tuned for the Olympic games, AKA I'm taking it up a notch, okay? And she doesn't owe anybody any damn thing. And that's all right. And I also wanted to give some honorable mentions to some fellow black queens that are also going to the Olympic Games. Okay, so of course we have Shikari. Um, she's for track and field. Then you have Simone Manuel, Manuel for swimming. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, uh, also Vashti Cunningham for the high jump. That's another thing, I ain't never been able to jump high. Jump girl, Kenny Harrison for hurdles. <laughs> Woo, done got a headache that fast. <laughs> Uh, Allison Felix for track. That's right. She and she had her baby. Oh, man. yeah, that was so cute. Uh, let's see. Aja Wilson, basketball. Uh, Simone Biles, gymnastics. And honey, Simone, she's been doing her thing. Even with all the adversity she's been through as well. She just continues to just do the damn thing. Naya Tapper for rugby. Okay, ma'am. Uh, also, Crystal Dunn for soccer. Whoa, look at her thigh meat. Oh my God, the muscles in there. Delilah Muhammad for track and field. Uh-huh. Deja Young, track and field. Uh, Ashley Johnson, come on, water polo. Ah. Alephine Tulia Monk, marathon. Oh, shit. She ready, ready. Nikki Neves for sitting volleyball. What is sitting volleyball? Let me watch a little snippet of that. I've never seen that before. Well, I'll be damned. Never knew. I learned something new every day. I'm super excited to watch the Olympic Games. I hope that you are too. Down below in the comment section, let me know what your thoughts are. And uh, thank y'all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you on the next video. Peace, love, and all that good stuff. God bless. Bye.